All right, happy Sunday, everyone. Hopefully my mic is not too loud. Right, let's get started. So, what I'm doing this stream is I'm going to be working on concept art. And what I've created is a Pinterest. Let me drag this over here because I need to. Let's see if I can get this to work because have this other program that's showing let's try to minimize this no, I can't do that um, let's try dragging this over again where are you at uh, this is always showing over the top so let's fix this yeah, so we'll do always on bottom then all right so that makes this easier all right so I have a um, comic universe uh, and it's made up of different characters so um, what I'm going to work on today is some of the um, other parts of the different um, elements that you see in this universe so what I'm going to do is take some of these images just so you know where the images are coming from from this pin that I created and then start building out the it's the application I have that I use called pure ref and what that allows you to do is pure ref allows you to actually see what you are um, see like all your your art that you're working with and just to show you what I'm talking about is if I jump to the other screen this application basically is it'll take up as much space as you want it to um, but it allows you to drag images in. So let's say for instance I want to use one of these images as a reference for my, um, my drawing. I can pretty much drag this right into this window from the browser and I'll add this in here. And I believe you can also resize it. Let's see. It allows you to resize them to fit a certain area. I don't know. I guess it doesn't. I thought I used to allow you to resize it. I know you can resize them all to fit like a certain area. But anyway, so that's like one of the images. So what I can do is use this as a reference to draw or paint from. So then I go in and find other things that I, I might like that I want to drag into this window. So let me just separate this tab so I can get it closer to this window because this mouse that I tend to use is a little weird sometimes because it's like one of those little trackball mouses and they tend to so like loses the selection so what I'm going to be doing is dragging in images that I'm going to then use uh, as reference matter of fact let me go back to that image since I grabbed that and saved that as part of the collection all right, so I'm gonna find a few more, and what I'm gonna be doing is working on some concept art to try to figure out what these other characters are gonna look like for my next upcoming comic, because I haven't um, drawn these characters yet. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see if I got. I kind of like this one. This one looks a little weird. Let me add this one over here too. Uh, 
I like this skin. If that's her natural skin tone. Alright. So I'm going to drag a few more of these in here. And then I'm going to jump over to start with the, uh, the actual painting part. Trying to find something that's going to match a few of the other things that I'm trying to create. I think I like this. And uh, what else? I like this one. some more later so I won't take up the whole stream trying to add reference images but that gives you an idea of how this tool works so let me jump over to the other window all right so I already started kind of like mapping out this throne one I want to actually start another one let me go here to Save this. I was already saved. Say new and save as, and we'll just call this the character. So what I want to work on is um, sort of like a call it more like an offshoot. Now the reason why I'm using sketchbook in this case is because. Out of the applications that I've used, um, I've been using, I'll just call this um, concepts for divine. All right, so what uh, I've been doing is this is sort of like an offshoot of. I would say uh, what people perceive uh, from the Bible, uh, my universe, um, is sort of taking things from that and flipping it or turning it around, changing it around, um, because everyone has their diff different perceptions of it based on the different religions. And this is not really a religious thing, but I like the concept because it tied into a character that I had and I had to give it a backstory so I figured it's easier to add a backstory uh, by just using that character so I already got some characters matter of fact do I want to use any of these I just found realized I had these over here um, I'm going to add this in here I think it's this one and definitely this one so I'm going to go here and then let's scale that up because I just want one of these. All right, so let's scale this a little bit. Alright, then the next thing I'm going to do is let's put, import the other image. Let's see what's on this because I haven't looked at these in a while. So let's see what's going on here. Alright, these are just references. So I'll need this layer. So I want to delete you. There we go. Alright, we'll move you down. No. no I don't want to merge, but whatever. Alright, so we can change the opacity of this. And we're going to like this. So we're going to use that as a reference as well. I should have probably just dragged it to the other screen. If I was thinking. All right, so uh, where's my glove? Let me grab my glove. Okay, so 
I'm not going to paint and on this one I'm just going to do some drawing so let's go here and we'll start with a red color uh, make sure we got the, the brush if you want uh, my image size just to let you know is 11 by s oh no this one's not okay alright well we'll do it then let's fix it because I don't want this to be that small. I want this to be 11 by 17. Uh, 17. Sorry, since that's fine. Um, let me scale this. Right. I thought I was using I didn't know I started a new document. I forgot I wasn't using the the proper format mm, comics are typically done on 11 by 17 Bristol board so I figure I want to keep this in the same vein alright so now I think my brush works more like how I want it because the okay this must be the max size let's look at the yeah Alright, this one doesn't have any settings, so let's go to this one here. Okay, this one has settings, so I can work with this one here. And let's see. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a little bit still too big. Alright, that's good. Alright. So, I need to figure out what I want this to look like. This character to look like. So, I'm thinking I'm going to have let's say start with a head and let's make this a little bit more faint. So, we're going to start with a head and I kind of like the way this other um, since in his domain yeah so like he saw sort of like the um, what we call it like the energy source the prime energy source I feel like he should have um, many ways to connect because he is the alpha and the omega of his dimension so and for me the way I see a lot of uh, underwater characters are since they're really seen um, a lot of them you don't know what they look like until you see like pictures of them and it's more likely an area that most people most of us humans will never see so sort of like heaven as people always talk about heaven when people die and all the other stuff but um no one will ever know what it looks like if there is a place so the closest thing I can think of that's possible with technology depending on if it ever gets to the point where one can travel to that area the closest thing I can think of would be the bottom of the ocean or whatever creatures that dwell below the earth and um, I think it's more of an experience so that's what my perspective is on it I think um, So that's some of what I probably be incorporating into this universe. So what I'm thinking is in addition to this spider-like underwater thingy, it's probably adding some octopus arms or octopi or whatever you want to call it, arms as the main arms that reaches out. So I'm going to use a different color there so that way I can 
see what's going on here. This add probably like instead of uh, eight, probably like four. So it'll be like the legs, and then this will allow him to have like that perceived slithering motion that people tend to tie in with um, this character. I'm going to have to make this brush bigger. Okay. Uh, the eraser. And the... Uh, okay, that's not good. So the eraser and the brush has the same size. Alright when you toggle it like that but I'm pretty sure when you do it like this it's not the same so let's try this and then we was using traditional so let's stamp that or pin that so that we don't have to keep going back and forth alright so so I'm go here erase I go here and I can draw Just keeping it really rough because we're trying to figure out what uh, this character should look like. Really enough, I should have already had this character done. I think in two, once I get to the point where I like what the characters look like, I'm going to do a 3D version of them as well because eventually I want to have all of my characters in every universe. Um, have a 3D version so they can also be animated because I think for us comics seeing your comics come to life animated is really cool so alright so we're going to make this have so that bulbous like head like the octopus generally you usually have a little good one so we have somewhat like a bulbous head and this would be the center and what I want to do is add this sort of like starfish thing in, in his head and this would be like So like a crown maybe and um, it would be basically his original form and it would be almost like a crown so let's go here we're going to move that up a project that I'll work on today. I gotta make a run outside go get some groceries. So what I'm gonna do is unlike the typical octopi, I'm gonna have him have eyes on all around so it'll be like almost like you can see all around him so this and 
something like the crown. And then we're going to have, uh, let's say this is the body. I give them so sort of like a little uh, beetle shaped body, maybe. That's what you want to call it. And then we'll have like other extremities sticking out or legs or whatever. those won't be legs they can be so like tendrils or whatever do we want to give him a tail nope because that'll block his his um, maybe we'll give him well we have these here let's put this on another layer so I can draw this with a deeper red draw this again so this is sort of like we we'll call this maybe like the energy source or whatever and it seems like it's heavy but it's not So I'm just going to be going through some random ideas. And what time are we at? We're at 24 minutes. So I don't want to spend no more than an hour on this. Um, right now, just trying to scope out. Scope out some ideas. scope out, spec out some ideas, that's what I meant to say. Alright, so we're going to merge this down. Guys, this one. And move this off to the side here. Rotate it a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna start on another one here. Right, 
Let's get this a name. Let's rename it. There you go. We'll call this idea one. And we might as well rename this one too. trying to do at least three so uh, what's another one we want to do okay we'll start with the little star there idea I'm just gonna keep it real simple here Oh, by the way, for those of you that have not hit that follow button, make sure you hit that follow button when you're watching this video. If you're watching it now, hit that follow. Uh, if you like this type of content or have any other suggestions, leave it in the suggestion box. And if you uh, don't mind, hit that notification bell once you hit that follow button and also share it to your friends you know other people like this type of content and that's my what we call commercial for my channel for now or spill for my channel okay so now we're gonna do uh, we'll have We'll still use that round part here, have it connect to that, and we'll have this, maybe this be more like a, one of the central parts, one of the controls or whatever. this like part of the base of the body you're gonna see me when I'm sketching it's just a habit of drawing through stuff um, that's just to figure out where things are gonna go try to figure out the all three dimensions of it so I'll, I will do that make this eye and make this sort of like an eye but not really an eye maybe use like a make this like I forgot if this is a leech or whatever you make this like the leech mouth or whatever here All right, so we'll give it some arms and stick out here So we're gonna do right sort of like a caterpillar sort of thing. I'm gonna give this this little ab abdomen here. And maybe we'll take a little slight influence from maybe the alien queen with the big so like larvae bottom so like the butt that has all of the eggs in it and use something similar that'll be so like the energy 
source and we'll have like these little hair hairs that sort of like come out from from it that'll be at different sizes and that'll like plug into everything to provide sustenance, sustenance and life throughout Ohio and what we'll do is for each one of these this popped in my head each one of these hairs that have like a little small they look like a pimple but they will be eyes now in the grand scheme of things that's making it too complicated um, but that's not going to be drawn in close nobody's really going to be able to see that unless you zoom into it um, or if it's animated and you zoom in and see that and even then it's going to be so quick that you're probably not going to get all of that uh, detail but I know what it is so and if these turn out the way I want I can um, randomize it because he shouldn't always have to stick to one form um, it will be for for this particular scenario but I'm just trying to I'm probably going to test do like a test A and B test and just see what people like uh, see which one they like the most so I'm going to put these on the abdomen um, all the way up to the point where it um, connects maybe what I can do is I have this abdomen stretch out almost as if it's a tail since that was what I was just talking about so I'm going to have add like a little circle here circle there circle there now again I'm drawing through this as you will see so that way I can get to position enough where this tail will go and I know it's kind of hard to, to see what's going on but I'm trying to push it to the background so that it's kind of like really long tail and I'll so I like have it a little like a little um, connection at the end and all of these have that same little I'm not going to put it all of them in the same exact way because it's so far in the back I'm just going to try to put some faint hairs in it to show that they're going all over the place now these hairs I actually dissipate and get thinner as they get to the end they'll start out thick about as thick as the, the eye hair these little eyes and then they'll dissipate so then like they're reaching out into infinity but it's providing energy to all life um, in this dimension so they need to be able to reach and, and detach without um, a lot of effort I might also make this something if I like this version that's regrowable so that way if he wants to remove life or take away life he can kind of liking this one more now that I'm playing around with it than the, the first idea but that's how concept in this 
is going might end up combining different parts of stuff I like I kind of like these little eyes uh, with the little tendrils things on it because that gives him the all seeing eye literally um, a text that idea there and then he has one on his so like a bigger one that's on his I will say like his chest here alright so what I'm gonna do is jump to another layer and select the red color again so I can break up some of this um, foreground of the body so I can see what's going on here like they don't serve any purpose so these may end up being removed because the arms will serve a purpose if he fought but he really doesn't fight in this dimension so I don't think uh, these arms are necessary so in saying that I will just delete that and focus on the outline I mean since he's all powerful in his dimension why does he need arms he can do what he needs without any of that because he has the power to control life so you need arms these ten tendrils are more so to provide life in that dimension so uh, I think that's what I'm going to stick with here I'm going to just draw these these little abdomen parts in here I think that should come in that's going to come around so that means this one will come out here, and it comes in there, and this one connects around. So we have to have like a belly, and um, since the mythos behind this character says he crawls on his belly, that's what we have going on here and we will probably put to resemble some of the other animals like snails or whatever that crawl on their their belly um, some little feet if you want to call them feet at the bottom of this so I'm going to draw like it's so really not really that defined but like a millipede and that might be what I have to add as a reference because that probably be more like what I want to go for so I'll probably stick with some with the cross of a 
sea urchin, um, mill uh, or beetle, millipede, um, spider, all creepy things, octopus that you see as far as insects or that you see as far as um, underwater creatures that will probably spook people out they saw it in reality because it's um so that would be my version of Samael alright so this is kind of putting them in the air so maybe I'll leave this like this for now and then have you spread out more or dig into the ground more because right now it's so like he's uh, st standing up because he's uh, pointing straight down and if it was like in the ground it'd be spread out more so since I already started drawing like that I'm gonna leave him like that or it could be levitating that could be it too so alright I think they're just going to abdomen we don't need them anywhere else alright so that's the second idea let's merge this down we're going to pull this up so that way probably when we merge it down it keeps the same name which it didn't so rename it idea 2 alright thought I had it selected alright so we're going to do one last idea so we need to get all this stuff wrapped up because the next book I start on this month so I gotta get this all locked in and I have uh, I got one wig uh, two um, Metatron, Samuel Azrael um, the castle the throne the other castle the creatures the universe the bar the patron shop wow so I got about 15 things I gotta draw out so I'm gonna be working hard this next week to try to get all that done so that way I can start on this because I need an idea of what I'm drawing before I actually draw it otherwise I'm just randomly creating some stuff pulling it out my uh, backside and I don't like doing that um, so I'd rather have an idea of what I'm going to draw before I draw it so that way I can get better at drawing it because this all this stuff is new it's not the stuff that I've been doing for 10 20 years drawing so um, that means the characters are still going to be fresh and they're going to um, graduate and change over time alright so we got one uh, this one looks kind of like uh, I did with the float, kind of like in this one so far. For the um, the abdomen part, uh, I'm gonna see what I like about the first one. Uh, kind of like the this part here, based on the original uh, photo but this will be replaced by this here so so now we need to get um, we're going to do one more idea we're going to try to do something simple alright so let's start another color um, I'm going to do something that's kind of Spiky, because everything is kind of round now. So that's do something to sort of like
and stick with the belly sort of thing. Surfaces, but they're really, they're really eyes. So they'll keep on that all seeing eye, sort of. <coughs> Excuse me. Another spin I'm doing with this is some of the most beautiful um, creatures too are the mysterious looking ones that you see on the water. So, um, well you don't really see, see photos of it because of course you can't physically go that deep underwater. So, figure this is the way and my comic universe is for me to explore some of those creatures. Create my own uh, mythos with uh, the characters. Don't get seen all the time, but when they are, when they're seen in this element, they give a different spin on them based on what or how people perceive angels and demons and um, pop culture. this loose right now and then I can always update it more I think I'm going to pull that in round this out and uh, it so like something you may see on like a beetle or insect I will bring one of these 
these points up to keep our same idea going with the crown being his original form. ideas that I can work with and refine and see what I can pull out of these that I like and if I need to change anything I can and maybe what I'll do is um, these I actually have just like the other octopi lines in the first one these have little parts on the end that connect into so I'm going to flatten these out different control or key points wherever he's at and I'll and um, that allow him to connect and maybe even uh, have these shoot out like so like those tendrils that did in the second drawing and they'll connect into stuff. I know I'm complicating this character, but he's not going to be in a lot of scenes, so. And even if he was, and he'd be putting that amount of detail in all of them the picture's just enough so you can see what the character looks like make sure you convey your point So like a reptile um, underbelly here, tying into that whole idea. You know, so like a scaly belly. I don't know if I want to say scaly belly, but yeah, we can say that. Besides this one, move this 
is over, so we have three concepts. I think I'm going to leave that there. i make it a little bit again. All right. So that's it. Uh, what I'm going to say for those of you that was watching this or will watch this, if you have any comments on what you like as far as the uh, character design, just let me know. Leave a comment or um, if you have any suggestions, leave a suggestion. And again, hit that follow, hit that notification bell. You can like, but sharing is better than liking for me. So I would prefer you to share. You can like if you want. But that's all I have for now. Let me hide this background image here because I don't need that anymore. These are my three ideas right here. Uh, ideas right here. I think um, I have something to go from right here. And what I do is I can continue on to the next next thing because what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all of these 15, 16 different things I got to do come up with the base concept uh, drawing for it meaning that I'm just doing the sketch and then once I do the sketch and I got an idea of it then I come back and redraw it figure out what I want to keep or change or intermingle uh, as far as the actual pieces and try to do three for each one so that's probably going to be about 45 to 50 drawings and once I've done that then I can take all of that and right now we did three today so um, that means I'm going to need at least at least well if I do them offline not I do some today. Uh, we can do at least three to six more today. I'm going to need at least um, five to six more sessions. So that means if I do my due diligence, which I'm going to remove that word if, and I can do 10 of these a day, I can have this done by no later than Friday. That way I can start working on my comic. And as soon as I get this done, um, even in the sketch mode, I'll probably just do a redraw of all 15. And that would be something that I'm going to probably have a time lapse or I'm going to have on a stream and show what the, the final result is for uh, most of the stuff I want to share because some of this is going to be for, well, th th all of this is going to be for a new comic. And since the comic is not online, I want to have it be like a spoiler. But the stuff is kind of abstract, which this is. I don't mind. But for some of the other elements, I'm probably not going to uh, share that. So what I'll do is the stuff that I can share, i show the final process, either via time lapse or I redraw it and um, finish the concept on the live stream. So again, that's all I have for now. Hit the follow, like, share, notification bell, and the order of follow, notification bell, share. Then you can choose a like. And then after that, you have a great day, whether it's Saturday or Monday for you, or whenever it is you watch this video. Until next time, peace.